Hey YouTube, it's me, Rao Hellcat, coming back at you with another video. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. I would appreciate it. So thank you to all of you who have subscribed. And thanks for those that have put the, the positive feedback and comments and hit the thumbs up button. It's all been positive thus far. I thank you very much. Oh, by the way, props out to SRT Mush. I'm wearing your shirt today, which is part of the reason, I mean, the part of the reason why I'm wearing this shirt today is because this video is about me buying the Hellcat. So, so uh, <laughs> I want to now go over what we're going to see on the next video. And what we're going to see is me buying this Hellcat. Now, of course, we're going to sh I'm going to show you the journey, trading in my old car, saying goodbye to my old car, starting up the Hellcat. It's going to be all good. More Hellcat to come, but this is, this is where it all starts. Oh, another fun fact. Today is July 12th. It is now the one month anniversary of the Hellcat. And what better way to celebrate the one month anniversary of this Hellcat, because I bought it June, uh, June 12th, is a cold start. So let's do that right now. So without further ado, here's the video of me buying the Hellcat. We'll catch you at the end. Uh, I'll put some comments at the end, uh, but enjoy the video. It's great. Thank you again for, for watching and subscribing. I'll talk to you in about 15 minutes. Hey Frankie, what are we doing? We're going car shopping. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, we're looking to see if we can get ourselves a brand new Hellcat. Um, Heading to Rockland Dodge, and I'm bringing in my car, my FX50, to trade. Uh, originally was gonna buy a used Hellcat, so I wouldn't have to give up this, but as it so turns out, it would be better for me, cheaper for me, to just get a brand new one, lease it, and uh, trade this in. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, figure we'll uh, let you know what we're doing before we do it. And then I will uh, touch base with you guys as soon as we get there. All sure. right. See you later. 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 What's up, YouTube? We're back. So we are now 15 minutes away from the dealership. We are in, still in New Jersey, but this dealership is in New York. I said New York. Yes. Uh, Albany is 130 miles away, but New York is only seven miles away. So we are seven miles away from New York and 10 miles away from uh, the dealership, 15 minutes away. So we'll see what happens. Wish me luck because if they can, if they can simply just give me the same deal they gave me over the phone, I, I think I'll be driving home in the Hellcat, we'll see. All right, boys and girls, we'll, we'll catch you when we, when we get there. All right, peace. All right, Frankie, we're here in the other car. I like it. I like it. Destroyer gray. Destroyer gray. I'll tell you what with though. The stripes. I am a sucker for gray cars, so I'll never tell you I that. Destroyer gray with the stripes. Gray calipers, gray rims. Black interior. We like the body kit. I just stepped I just stepped in gum. Nice. So that means we're bound for some type of luck. Yeah, I guess. It's a mean ass looking car. What do you think, Pop? Well, it's either this, white or black. I don't know. So what do you think? I'm a gray guy. 
It'd be just like SRT Mush with his uh, Destroyer Gray Demon. So, okay. There's that. Oh, you want to go inside and begin the journey? Yeah, let's. Or you want to see. savor? You want to savor the moment? I can see it on your face. I'll savor the moment. Take, take a look at the at my car. Yeah, there's the FX. This is nice. Yeah, I'll go inside. See what happens. Ready? This car in Destroyer Gray looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks wet, even when it's dry. Love the gunmetal wheels, love the gunmetal calipers. Goes perfect with the Destroyer Gray. And then new for 2018, in addition to the calipers and the wheels, are the gunmetal stripes. I know they're not the carbon fiber that everyone's used to having, but uh, it works on the Destroyer Gray car. Destroyer Gray and gunmetal gray go perfect together. And I'm looking forward to hopefully uh, driving this home today. All right, Frankie, yeah, we're still waiting for the uh, final approval, but we agreed on numbers. Paying in. Uh, boy, boy got it done. I paid a hundred dollars more a month than I my max budget, and a thousand dollars more up front, or fifteen hundred dollars more up front than I wanted to spend. But I guess the only way to know for sure would be to drive this thing. So that is the next step. All you YouTubers who have these cars, I know how much you love them, so. But I've never driven a Hellcat before. I've driven, oh, that's the other fun fact for today. So the fun fact for today is, I drove this car. I drove this car today. I like the purple. Stick shift. And I drove this thing like a champ. I haven't driven stick in 10 years, and yet I was driving this thing as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't miss a shift. I didn't over rev. I didn't stall. No stalling. But this color is unbelievable in person. I love it. Unbelievable. So. It's almost time to say goodbye. Uh, that's right. We have to 
maybe say a little goodbye before we'll sign off. You know, it's a shame because we never did the sound clips with the Borla. Well, you have the sound clips for the Borla. He just never shows your audience. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we will. We'll put that video up soon. But what I wanted to do, actually, the reason why I didn't put that video up yet is because I wanted you to be recording me doing drive-bys. You're right. So I should record you talking about your car. Wow, well, the 2013 FX50 S, every available option. It's got the 5 liter V8, 400 horsepower. Uh, great car, it was my dream car. It's funny, because this is my dream car, and now, two years later, I have another dream car. I don't know why I keep switching cars, but it's time to move on. I've had SUVs now for the past 25 years. I'm going to move on to a four-door sedan that has 707 horsepower, and uh, I'm going to miss this car. Again, this car is all stock except for the k and air filters and the Borla exhaust, and to be honest, I mean, I noticed a little bit of a bump in power, but it's not the same. And even with that 485 in the Challenger, I thought the two cars were comparable in terms of pop. So. I think I can handle 707. What do you think? Yeah, I think you can. I think I can too. So, yeah. so I guess, uh, say our quick goodbye to this. I mean, there's no way I thought I was going to be not driving this on today. We're just supposed to stop by. And go oh, oh, that was a, a break and a crash and it didn't happen. Yeah. So, Anything else to add, Frankie? Adios, FX. Oh, yeah, or as they say in Japanese, sayonara. Oh, yes. I feel bad the boiler exhaust system. Between purchasing it and installation, $1,000. And it's staying with the car. I do, however, have the original exhaust system. It's only got 50,000 miles on it. It's five years old. I'll put it up on eBay, see if we can get some money. So that's one thing I can do. I can put that up on eBay, sell that. I got the original rubber mats, took them out, the FX35 mats. I put those, took those out, put the FX50 mats back in. I can sell that. I have a cargo cover. I have a, actually I had the mat on this. I should have taken that out, let's do it now. Um, that's it. I got the, the daytime, not the daytime, but the uh, illuminated kick plates. Now it came with this car, but I also had an extra set for my other car that I had purchased. And I actually, um, hey, you can take a picture of that inside. I actually had, um, had them on my other car and I bought them right before I traded in the FX35 and I took those out and put the originals back in. So now I have two sets, just in case. And I only kept them just in case the lights went out. I would just replace them, boom, boom. They're like 200 bucks. So. I'm sorry, $200 each, $400. So I get 400 for that, that rear cargo mat, then I have an extra one at home that's at least 100. Um, I think it's really original exhaust, I can probably get 500 for. So that's where it's all adding up as far as this extra 1500 that I have for that as well. Think I'm doing the right thing there, Frank? I think you are. Right. I think it is time to say though, sayonara to the right. FX. Sayonara to the FX. Sayonara. Hi, man. Here's another fantastic look at the Hellcat. Um, I, my apologies, this is the time when we're actually taking the Hellcat for a test drive. Um, and we weren't able to record it. The iPhone that I had with me to record the test drive, the battery had died and I didn't realize that until we were already on the road. So I apologize for not having a recording of the actual test drive. But uh, let me take this moment to go over the all the options on the car again. So we have the gunmetal uh, colored wheels versus the black. We have the gunmetal colored calipers versus the red. And then we also have the optional gunmetal stripes versus the carbon. And I also love the fact that it has the black uh, Laguna leather inside. Uh, also the Hardman Carden stereo system and the power sunroof. Fully loaded. Every available option, uh, the list price is $75,595, but I did lease it, so made the payments more reasonable than if I financed it. 
I also was, uh, they also took in my trade and they gave me what I was looking for within $500. And uh, and the payment was maybe $100 more than I originally wanted to spend, but I gotta give out a shout out to Rockland Dodge. They, in Nanuet, New York, they're very professional, uh, pleasant buying experience. I highly recommend them. And if you live in the New York City metropolitan area, I definitely highly recommend you go see Rockland Dodge. Guys and girls, they're gonna clean my car, my new Hellcat. Yes, I got the Hellcat. It's mine, it's mine, it's all mine. 32 miles on the odometer, and we took it home that night. And here's the Hellcat sitting pretty in the parking lot. Uh, we went to a restaurant right after we took delivery. We were starving. We didn't leave the dealership until almost 10 o'clock. We were there since uh, three o'clock. It was a very long day, well worth it. I got my new Hellcat. I'm so happy, so ecstatic, and uh, it's looking gorgeous. At night, destroyer gray with the lights on, perfect. Ooh, listen to that kitty purr. Well, it's time to drive that Hellcat to its new home in New Jersey. What an awesome day. So glad I captured most of the journey of buying my Hellcat today and sharing with all of you. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you all have a great night. And one more quick walk around of the car. It's one month old. Say happy birthday to the Hellcat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hellcat. One month old. Happy birthday to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, enjoyed the, the journey I took to buy this car. Again, Hellcat is one month old today. Uh, it now has 525 miles on it. Uh, it's now past the initial break-in stage. The second break-in is at 1500, but at least launch control now works. I haven't used it yet. I plan on using it. I plan on recording it. In fact, I wanna record the first time using it. So that might be coming up in the next uh, day or two. I'll record that and post that soon. But in the meantime, thank you again for watching my videos. Thank you again for subscribing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so this way when I post new videos. And again, I'm gonna to try to do them weekly. Uh, I do have a lot of things recorded already. So in the first couple of weeks, you may see more than one, possibly even uh, three videos in a week. And then of course the YouTube call out. It's a long video, I get it. Um, but I will be releasing it in segments after that. I wanna post the initial first. Again. Give me feedback on it. Tell me it's too long. Tell me I made a mistake and then I'll fix it. So that's how we learn. We, we post what we think is gonna, is gonna work. And I know there are a few people already that have told me they wanna see the whole thing. So, uh, so thanks for that comment and encouragement. I appreciate that. So again, this is Ral Hellcat. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, got my catchphrase. <laughs> I wanna say uh, thank you again, take care, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Again, thank you again, peace. But actually, this is sort of like what SRT Mission does, but I like it, peace, peace, peace.